Hey Swifties, back with some Taylor Swift, uh, me live from New York City. I am proudly a Swiftie. Uh, I have so much Taylor Swift stuff floating around my house. Uh, I love her. Um, nobody really requests her, however, uh, I want to start reacting to her because you know what? I don't think I've seen really any of her, like her, her music videos or stuff like that. So, and she has so much stuff out here, uh, coming in from like 89, you know, 99, 2019, so over, you know, 30 years worth of stuff. And I love her. So let's jump in. You, with your words like knives and swords and weapons that you use against me, you have knocked me off my feet again, got me feeling like a nothing, you, with your voice like nails on a chalkboard, calling me out and I'm wounded, you, picking on the weaker man, you can take me <laughs> this song is so appropriate anymore um, everybody just seems to be mean and buttoning everybody's business and I don't understand why people can't stand Taylor Swift uh, I just don't get it she's so talented and isn't funny um, I don't think I've seen her play um, the banjo um, I don't think so. I have a few DVDs, but I don't recall her playing uh, a banjo. But I just don't understand. I think it's one of those things when somebody gets super popular, um, they just draw a lot of hate. You know, hence Shake It Off, right? Or hence Mean, and we know who that was directed at. Uh, a music critic, as I recall. Um, you know, she writes real music for real people, guys. I just don't understand why people don't... Um, don't like her. It's just beyond me. And her band is just like top notch. Um, everybody that plays with her always good. She's awesome. I love her. I'm a Swifty and I'm proud of it. You, well, you're switching sides and you're wild by lies and you're humiliation. You, I put it on my flaws again as if I don't already see them.
I love Taylor. <laughs> Absolutely love her. You know, the funny thing is, she's like super humble. Um, you watch her like at concerts and stuff, and she's, she's so appreciative of her fans. And as I recall, this was for a, a critic who was running her down and who has the last laugh now. Huh? Well, guess what? Taylor Swift is worth 200 to $500 million. This critic's probably just out there I don't even have a job. So to that critic, I say up your nose with a rubber hose. Uh, I love Taylor. I'm a Swifty. Let me know if you want more Taylor Swift in the mix, guys. I am more than happy to do it. All right, Swifties. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.